Hey guys, welcome back to G-Made CNC. Uh, this project that we're doing is a little out of the uh, CNC norm of what we usually do. Uh, what we're building here is a vacuum forming table. I have a few projects that are coming up that uh, require this. And instead of outsourcing, I decided, you know what, I got the time now. Let's make one. And this way I have it for any future projects or it allows me to uh, branch off into other things. So I started this project a few days ago, and uh, this morning I was thinking, you know what, there might be guys out there that are interested in building their own or um, are interested in this project. So here we go. Uh, this right now is just the initial base and stand of the vacuum forming table. Um, just standard cart, more or less. And uh, this is an old air tank. Um, that I had kicking around. It was basically designed to fill it up with like 120 PSI and you take it wherever you need to fill up uh, quad tires, dirt bike tires, whatever. So I removed the uh, the valve and the port off of that and uh, there was legs and handles on it, just ground them off. And what I'm doing right now is just a piece of angle iron. Just cut a half moon net. To the same radius as the tank. So we welding once it has been notched out, that we get welded on there. And uh, that's gonna allow me to mount the tank on those two braces right there. Which allows me room for the pump and uh, possibly a vacuum. I haven't decided uh, what route I'm actually going yet with it. <clears throat> so let's just go inside and I'll uh, show you what the finished product is going to look like on a CAD drawing and then we'll get started get back to this okay so this is what the uh, finished product should look like when we're done um, yeah, there'll be a vacuum gauge right here um, switches for the uh, oven elements for up top uh, vacuum switch and this is just uh, like an e-switch shut it off this way there's a uh, nothing gets left on you know uh, so let's open a cover so I'm inside you'll see the tank it's mounted up there and then from there uh, we'll have two outlet hoses coming off to the tank and then from the tank to the pump uh, which we'll get more into the video when we actually start uh, assembling all that but, so we got there's the vacuum table here itself and then uh, here's a slide mechanism and go up and down. So I'll go up, heat the plastic up, and then I'll just pull it down over the part, turn it on the uh, vacuum system, suck it down. And then here's like the clamshell. So you put the plastic in there, close it, lock it, and lift it up. When it heats up, softens enough, you just bring it down, boom. So that's the concept um, from the drawing. Everything seems to work here, so we just got to make that a reality outside. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an idea of exactly what I was building, if you weren't too sure, or you just wanted to know what the finished product, product would look like. Um, this is it. So uh, we'll get back out in the garage and uh, continue the build. Alright, got the other brackets cut and uh, got them welded on. Um, just had to weld on a little tab there to get a good ground. Uh, it wasn't grounded off the table too well. So now that those are done, uh, we'll drill holes in these. Four holes and then we'll get it uh, 
clamped up there, mark them out, and I'm gonna weld bolts onto them, those two rails, and uh, so the tank can be put on and off. So after it's all paint and stuff, we just slide it on, put in a nut washer. Um, the other thing we have to do to the tank, um, let's see, uh, there is one out outlet port, you can see right there. Um, so only half inch. I want a little larger, so uh, I'm going to dedicate that one for a line to come off to a gauge. So I know how much pressure, negative pressure I got in the tank. And uh, an old union I had here. So we'll just drill a hole in the side of the tank and I'll weld the union, which will increase it up to a three quarter inch opening. Um, so let's get that started and uh, okay we got the tank all mounted just weld it in Let's zoom I should want to zoom yeah. well they're just uh so these uh, flat hex bolts. Uh, let's see, quarter inch by uh, three quarter. Just uh, weld them up there. So this way I can take the tank on and off. So now, next step is to, I'm gonna weld this uh, lower end of, this half of a union, uh, three quarter inch. Um, this nipple will come out. I'm just leaving it in there to uh, protect the threads from uh, when we weld. So I just gotta find a good position where they're gonna come out the front here or Come off the top with it. And then from there, um, our fittings come out with a T and it'll split to two different ports for the bottom of the table here. Um, and this one here will go, it'll have a T. One goes to the pump that will be sitting here. And then the other one will go to the vacuum gauge that will be sitting on the front of the machine here. So that this way I know how much pressure I got before I actually uh, start the project. So we're going to be uh, just cutting a hole in the tank with one of these uh, Lennox hole saws. I got this whole kit here. Amazing kit. Uh, it's, it comes with everything. It's a little pricey, but if you uh, if you happen to use these, it's definitely worth the money. Comes with every size you could need, possibly need. So we'll get the tank off. We'll get the hole drilled and get that welded up, and then we'll go back to the project. All right, we got the hole cut. Just uh. I don't know what size this is. Uh, maybe an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. So. We'll get that welded up. And then uh, get it back into the frame. And then we'll work on uh, the side supports. That will go uh, here and here. Um, these tabs here are for um, the panels that will go on. So I'll just bolt them in off of these. I got to finish drilling the holes in the middle tabs. 
So we'll get this welded up and uh, we'll get it back in there. And we'll start on the uh, side rails. All right, that's welded in. And I'll air pressure test this later. I'll fill with air and uh, probably just dump in the tub, see if there's any air leaks before I paint it. Uh, I'm done here. Get this cut off and cleaned up. And we'll get it on there and then we'll start the uh, the uprights that come up here. All right, we got the uh, upright supports made. Um, just a piece of angle iron to uh, one inch square stock. Um, these support braces will be snapped off. They're just on there to keep it square and true. So that's when I still have the weld. And then we'll get the top put on it. Alright, so I'll get them welded up and then uh, we'll get the top on. And we'll get back to this. Alright, top's just sitting there in place. I don't mind this contraption. Uh, Got the levels on there, clamp to the bottom, just to square everything up. And uh, yeah, just level there. Level across there. So uh, now that we got it all true and squared up, let me get the uh, this top plate. Weld it in. Now this will have a cover that goes um, over it. And inside here will be the two heating elements. So she's coming together slowly. So let's get that uh, welded up and we'll get back to it. All right, top's on. Still need a wrench short of uh, angle iron for here, so I'll get it tomorrow. Just cleaned up the shop, gonna call it a night, but uh, so that's the logist of it. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll pick it up in the morning.